Namaste and welcome to React Pitch. In this series of short tutorials, we are going to look at the latest feature of Flutter. We will start with Flutter Web. As you all know, with Flutter 2.0, the Flutter Web is now available in the stable channel. Now we can build for web. We can run in the web and you can check you are using the latest version. So right now the latest version is if we do flutter version, we can see that flutter is 2.0.4 and it's on channel stable. And if we now check flutter devices, we can see that we have one device connected and that is Chrome or web. So we know that we can build or run for web. Getting started with web for Flutter is simple enough. It's like any other platform. So now Flutter web is like Android or iOS. We can just easily target. So we can see that we have Android folder, iOS folder and then web folder. So it's just another target, right? Let us run the demo project. So here I have a new Flutter project. I just created a new project. So if I now run in VS Code, it's simple as a F5. It will now run and open this app in the browser. So it will build for browser. I don't want to open it right now. See, it's the same basic counter app that we get with Flutter for any other platform. So it's simple as that running for web. We do not have to do anything else. And if we change anything, we can reload and see it in action. So let me try in the text here. Button this many times. Let's add another text here. One thing to notice is that Flutter Web doesn't support hot reload. That is preserved state, but it does support hot restart. So if I save, it will hot restart, not hot reload. If we have any states that will all be reset. So when you hot restart, we can see our changes. This is how we can run on the web. Now building in web or building for the web, we have three options. So we can use plotter build command plotter build web. So we can build for web using plotter build web and we can pass web web render option and it has three different values. First is auto, second is HTML and third is canvas kit. Let's try HTML. So what's the deal with web renderer and canvas kit renderer and auto? So first the auto option or the default option builds applications such that in the mobile devices, it will use HTML renderer, which is good for low resource consumption. Whereas in the desktop devices, it will use canvas kit renderer, which is best for performance, but use intense resource. So we can, depending on the use case of our application. So if we, if our Flutter web application is going to be used heavily on the mobile platform and we don't want to optimize for performance rather for saving resources, then we can use the HTML renderer. Or if we want to always optimize for best performance using canvas kit renderer is the best idea. So if we build web without passing web renderer command, it will use auto 
that is it will use HTML renderer for mobile and canvas kit renderer for desktop. But if we explicitly pass the web renderer command with either HTML or canvas kit, then it will build specifically using that renderer, no matter which device we are using our application on. So this is the basics about Flutter web. In the next episodes, we'll see some other features of Flutter 2.0. Thank you everyone for watching this tutorial. If you like more of these videos, click, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on the notification. Thank you. See you again in the next episode.